Welcome to Beholder's Eye, a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons epic fantasy adventure. My name is Alex and I'll be your host and Dungeon Master. On the Great Isle, it is a time of religious wars, imperial domination, and an ancient evil reborn. Only one crew can save the world from utter destruction. They are... Magrain Silverbeard, Paladin of St. Eligius. Zalara Tremez, Wandering Elven Monk. Gerin Kelsey, High Elf Bladesinger. Heaven Hit, the Fire Kindled Wandering Flameosifer. Alright, who wants to let us know what happened last episode? Alright, so Hibonite and Margraine finished up their heart to heart, both sort of admitting they're wrong, but also still trying to justify that they're right. Um, and then. Uh, Garen and Margraine also had a heart-to-heart, -heart, sort of, in a weird way, um, between people who don't know each other very well. And uh, Margraine seemed to be understanding that he was not the dwarf he wanted to be, and then goes off and calls up Lenore, and then denounces her. And then he gets knocked unconscious. He wakes up to the sound of a parade in, in the middle of the street which also wakes up Garen, Hibonite, and Zalara. They go out to see Hibonite's mother come home uh, with chanting some cultish stuff about uh, how the primordial fire isn't the god and that they, they're they going to release Kazdrak or Kazdrax. Um, Hibonite tries to have it out with her about that it's probably not the real Kazdrax, and she says, no, you, and that's pretty much where we left it. All right, so... Um... You guys go into the uh, the big house with uh, him and I's mother. I'm a, uh, actually, I want to. I want to actually go find Margraine since I okay. left him alone all night. I just realized my my response to seeing you in the hallway should have been like, "Where's Margraine?" Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm going to go find Margraine and bring him back here. Where did you leave him? On the beach. He seemed On the okay. Beach with the fish people. Well, they are dead. I'm coming with you. Okay, I'm sure I, he's I fine. I want to avoid going into the big house. Come on! But I can't, <laughs> really, not at this point. We will join you, Hibonite, after we find the Margraine. Well, if I start acting weird, then, then come things with are going to go screw. <laughs> Say, I'll be right back. I, I can't. Now, how much I want to is my people stuff. So. Well, I didn't convince mean my mom that them. she's wrong and then suddenly just saying I'm going to play with my friends then I'll come back and convince you about the god stuff D uh, do you think I should stay with you then? you guys go get, get migraine I will if things go screwy I will get out alright you know stay your safe. family better sort of okay. apparently not to be honest <laughs> well, that so, is the world we live in so um uh, so the two of you, Garen and Zalara, mm -hmm. you make your way into town, and you see trailing behind the, uh, the I guess, the procession, a Garen. You see what looks like Margarine's armor, except it's on a halfling. And Zalara, without a beard. Hold up a second. And Zalara, you recognize this as Margarine, the halfling. <laughs> Something. Ma uh, oh, okay. So he used to be a halfling like this. What? But then he grew a beard and got taller and, like, his vision changed. Uh, but, uh, uh, Margraine? Hi. What, uh, uh, what, are you okay? Yeah, I had a rough night. Uh, got a bit of a hangover, but... That must have been some wine. <laughs> Holy shit. I um, thought you were a dwarf. Uh, uh, I am a dwarf. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, hmm. He, he said that since the beginning, Karen. Um... <laughs> I don't um, know what that means. But this is not <laughs> Ixnay Margarine. and the Orf Day. <laughs> I, I do not speak that language. I am sorry. Um, uh, um, why? What's what's wrong? Uh, you changed suddenly uh, back to the way you used to be. Which is a halfling. You are, um, what? Um, it is a beardless dwarf, Garen. Uh, that's... He's, just go with it. Uh, no, it's okay. I understand. Uh, but I, I'm I, I'm fine. You look terrible, but and different. <laughs> well, I I feel horrible, but I'm fine. Uh, wait, have we been mind I... controlled? This is so weird. This is for, <laughs> for us. This is weird, right? Uh, well, uh, uh, well, I don't know yeah. what's weird anymore. 
<laughs> this um, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see how it would would be. Um well, um how about this? And Margaret will put out his hand to Garen, like in a shaking motion. Okay. And I'll take yeah. it. And he'll shake his hand, and he'll go, Hi, I'm Margrain Silverbeard, Paladin Hi. of St. Allegius. Hi, Margrain Silverbeard, Paladin of St. Allegius. I am still uh, Garen Kelso. Uh-huh. Um, you know. But you seem reforged. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've, uh, I'm going through some changes right now. I mean, we all do at some point, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've found with, uh... With me, they can be a little bit more sudden, a bit more uh, drastic. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I really, I, I really didn't come into my own as a dwarf until a little while ago, and I'm now still figuring that out. Come back out of it by not becoming a dwarf. I'm, I'm still I'm, me. I are you? Mm. Hope so. I'm still me. I mean, I know we had a good talk last night, but. <laughs> <laughs> I Garen, you killed me. I'm sorry, I love that Garen's here for this. Um, yes, no, we had a we had a very good talk. It put some things that I really needed put into perspective for me. Speaking of perspective, um, Hibonite might be in trouble. Well, I know uh, this is a, that I can handle. His mom's mind controlled or something. That that's easy. Um, but okay. he might be in trouble. Well, we better can go you, help him, right? You're okay with that now? Um, I don't know if Hibonite and I will be okay, but he still needs our help. Yes, he, he does. does. Uh, that's yeah. what a good man would say. <laughs> so, just so everyone's aware of the, uh, and so Sam is too for Margrain. Uh, good man, uh, Margrain, right now, you retain your levels, but you lose anything that is warlock specific. Cool. At this point. Got it. So, you can cast paladins if you have like a higher spell, spl- spell slot or anything that's determined like that, you cast it at the level you are, but yeah, you I, don't have access I to. Lose my, my packed spells and yep. my packed spell slots, those two slots. Yep, and you don't have your cantrips anymore. Cantrips, you don't have your your long Hex. vision anymore. Okay, yep. yeah, just anything from the past two levels I don't have. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so back. Let's go back to the big house and and see how Hibonite's doing. Mm-hmm. Back to the big house. As they walk off, I'm gonna pull back a second, take a giant swig of my mug from my mug. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is my life now, and I walk up after him. <sighs> so, Hibonite, um, after you followed your mother in, Amalite, uh, she's you know back into her old ways of just commanding everyone, do this, do that. She's getting things set up to uh, you know her standards and the way she likes things, as far as you know certain kinds of flowers and things being put into place. Um, she's very much in control, and uh, your father is kind of standing back, just letting her do her thing. Um, is there anything you wanted to say right out the gate? Is Oric here, or is he still... Oric's back at his place. I'm gonna say to my parent that I I need to head out quickly. I'll be back before, I'm assuming a meal's happening from what you're doing, Mother. Yes, 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 uh, yeah, Emil, we almost have a good breakfast in the morning, so we will definitely do that, get that in place. Um, say so an yes. hour? Say, say one hour? Yes, yes. Cool. Um, I'll be back soon. I'll uh, pop out and I'll. Oh, and if go your down friends to... aren't staying here already, make sure they stay here. I will make sure that happens. I don't like the word "make sure." <laughs> <laughs> Not I'm at gonna... all. No. Do I do I see Ruby at all? Yeah, Ruby's there. She's I'm down. going to drop a sorcery point for subtle spell, and the subtle spell message her. We need somewhere new to stay. <laughs> Are you worried? Thank you. I, I'm, I'm only dropping one so I was okay. well, so. <laughs> so she just kind of uh, I forgot yeah she looks over and nods and uh, <clears throat> sorry she looks over and nods and then uh, kind of heads your direction not kind of she heads your direction cool and I will well if she's is she walking with me or is she just yes. leaving okay. yeah she- okay um, on the way to Oryx I'm going to speak to her then I'm certain Mo- mother's either under some influence or doing some influence dad's been <laughs> some form of charm and so is Oryx and <laughs> Eh, me and my friends did not come in the strongest situation to deal with this stuff. 
So, why do you think they're charmed? I mean, obviously she's gone crazy, and, and he's just have you lazy hugged, and Have you hugged acting Mother weird. recently? I mean, Sorry, can you repeat that? Have you hugged Mother recently? A woman could fight a bear and win. Really? No, no, I, no. And that that's a different dad. There's something going on. There's definitely something going on with him. It's like he's... He's not all there. I mean, he's always been heavy drinker and just a lot yeah, of fun, but not joyful not drinking. Not drinking to depress level like that. Right. All right. The way mother said to make sure my friends stay there. Don't trust that at all. I've seen too much weird shit out in the main that main world. Really to trust that sort of wording. So we need somewhere safe and secure, and we need to keep up people we can trust who aren't weird and do lally. Wait, I, those guards of hers being in full covering. Crimson you Guard, saw the, yes. You, you saw the weird people on the beach last night. I'm, yeah. I'm worried that they are them. I've seen what creatures being turned into other creatures while we've been on my travel. There's a great evil, and I think it's trying to get its claws at us, and that is not happening. Really? So you've yeah. seen this before? Not exactly. It was different. In the other place, they didn't turn into fish people. They turned into giant red monsters. They called me their cut, or they call they refer to our species as their cousin. And we are the old races, and these are the, the people I've been traveling with are the new races, men of dirt. Wow. So, and you you can tell as you're telling Ruby this, she's very fascinated by this. Like, so I think we've got <laughs> we've got some trouble going on. I'm hoping Auric can help. If I can convince him to do something he won't want to do. Yes, if. Hibonite, this doesn't work out in, in whatever way, or hell, even if it does, I, when you go back, when you go back to the mainland, take me with you. I can't, this isn't for me, staying here, doing all this administrative stuff, I, this isn't, this isn't something I'm interested in, in the best of times. We'll, we'll talk about that closer to the time, but I oh. think we do need to restructure how our people work. Yeah, for sure. There's so much out there, and just the little bit you've told me is fascinating. We, we could be prepared for something like this if we'd been out there, if we'd been in more communication. I think our people may need to make more of a main stage apparent. I agree. If you go secure housing, find people we can trust. Hopefully, there's no fighting, but I think we need to be prepared for a, a bad situation. Okay. So, um, are you are you going to Auric? Yeah, I'm still going to Auric. Okay. She nods, and then she takes off um, to where she needs to go. Um, Obviously, that whole conversation, your... we're trying to avoid groups of people and keep it more discreet than just spouting a coup in the middle of the street. Okay, as you're heading to Oryx, uh, you notice there's a woman on the street. She seems frantic. She's grabbing people randomly, saying, Have you seen him? Have you seen him? Please, somebody, somebody help me. And people are just kind of ignoring her as, as she's kind of going from person to person, saying, have you seen him? Please, he's been gone for two days now. Have you, have you seen him uh, at all? Oh, go over. Who, who are you looking for? My husband. Okay, do you want to elaborate? He just he disappeared in the night a couple nights ago. Well, what's your husband's name? My, my husband's name is Dyson. No, no, come with me. Okay, she starts going with you. Uh, hopefully he's still... You say, you say he's been gone for two days? Yes, two nights. Correct me if I'm wrong, Alex. Didn't Dyson say he was taken last night? Yep. Was but this is a it new night. It's a new day. Right. New day. Oh, so if he was taken that before, yeah. <laughs> oh, nah. We're great oh, at it. It, it, it's, it's Not at this hour for me. He also said he lives alone. He did. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I didn't remember that. <laughs> hmm. I will tell her that I saw him last night in the Flaming Grapes. Oh, at the bar, at the Flaming Grapes. The bar, the Flaming Grapes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I, I, I will go. Thank you so much. Continue walking on my path. All right, um, you make your way to Auric. Is Dyson still in there as well? Yes. You don't have a wife, do you, Dyson? No, I, I wish. That's good. There's a woman looking for you. Pretty sure that was the, that, the people trying to get you back. Really? And he kind of pulls into himself a little bit. Yeah, things are, things are weird and not very good at the minute, but I'm sure things will get better. Thank you, my lord. But now that you're back, I'm, I'm sure things will get better. I will do my best. <laughs> All I can promise. Is Orokin, or has he stepped out? No, I'm here. What oh, can I do so for you? still in the same room as me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Auric, I, wa I want you to try something. I know you're probably going to be against it initially, but I need you to uh, try, a, 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 some, I think, something that could have a positive effect on our current situation. Okay. I need you to cast Greater Restoration on yourself. On myself? Yes. <laughs> Alright. So he says his incantation, casts it on himself. Does that break him out of the trial? Well, how are you going to test that? 
That's a good thing. I... <laughs> it would help He'd if you still, had a wizard there that would be able to see that. Stuff. He just wouldn't think in the same way. But... Or, do you remember seeing Topaz the other day? Yes. And from what you remember and how she looked, did it look serious to you? No, not, not when she was here. <laughs> do we still have a body of the fishman? Would be down by the sea, wouldn't they? Yeah. I don't think you guys took them. No. Well, let's hope the locals haven't moved them. Come with me, Orn. <laughs> or, but we're going on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And as uh, you and Orc exit Oryx's hut, you do see Garen, Zalara, and Halfling Margraine in the road. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, <tonight. I> thought... <laughs> I thought you were back at the big house. Um... Yeah, fine. I I just needed to talk to my sister and get some information from my mum. And hey, but like, she's a halfling, right? Oh, thank God, something normal again. Normal. <laughs> run over, run over, run over, give Margaret a hug. I need some normality now. He was a dwarf last night, right? I'm I'm not crazy. Well, you are crazy, but he was more dwarf looking before. He still identifies as a dwarf. Yeah, don't don't race shame him. It's same. It's still me. Just making sure. <laughs> yeah, same same guy you talked to last night. You're standing right here. I don't think it's the same. I don't think you're exactly the same. I mean, last night you wanted to cleave my head off. Now you just you you sound like when we were at your parents and you lost your trust in faith again. Mm. Yeah, and that was a great great place for me to be in in my life. I understand how you felt now. And <laughs> we're gonna get through this together. <laughs> um, I'm gonna help you. Even if I don't maybe agree with you, I'll help you. That's right. Friends don't have to agree all the time. They just look after each other. All right, let's go find one of the fish <gasps> corpses. The fish okay. corpse. Okay. Why are we finding a fish corpse? Who knows? Who cares? The thing, well, the thing I, we... I killed a bunch of, bunch of fish yesterday. You certainly mm -hmm. did. Uh, you kept me from getting squished, so thank you. Yeah. And let's go and to make sure Orc is coming with us. <laughs> hey, Hibonite, Um. Yeah? How's your sister doing? Which one? Uh, previously fish sister? I haven't seen her today, but she sounded good and my sister wasn't with her still, so I'm assuming she's better. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's in a step up in the situation. <laughs> yeah, I'll it's take something. many more steps down. Okay, well, <clears throat> onwards to find some slaughtered fish. <laughs> you guys make your way to the beach, uh, to where you encountered the fish people, and um, their bodies are still there. Nobody's come by to clean them up or they look pretty much undisturbed except for the sand blowing on them and the tide. Or would you agree this doesn't look normal? I, no, this is this is no, this is exciting. What is this? And um, from your from what you remember of how my sister was looking, does this look similar? Well, is this what you saw? Because that's not what I saw. This is what she looked like. What did you see? Yeah, she looked like she had a little cold. She looked like herself. Her I nose know, was a little bit was, red. She was slimy. She was growing extra teeth. And she was, you know, her eyes were marbling over. But I what didn't I see is, that. What I think's happened is you were under some charm effect. Oh, I think that is other, exciting. It's exciting and also <laughs> terrifying because I think it's a lot, affecting a lot more people as well. Oh. I think I need you to cast greater restoration on my dad on your dad well i am more than happy to do that but i, I do if he doesn't want me to there's really nothing i can do <laughs> maybe you I could tell him it's some kind of uh, routine medical examination <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems a, a bit unethical. something to make also, his wine better um if i can get his father to agree to come in here uh would you be willing to do it I, I I don't feel right about him not knowing. What what if I I tell him? What if he knows what he's coming into? I mean, I, in his current state, we could just promise him ale, and I think he'll do it. That 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 could be the case. That that is unfortunately <laughs> true. Garen can just be here with his Stein. Got to try and get him away from. Got to try and get him away from my what, mother. Do we do we have to be here to do it? Wouldn't it be easier if he comes with us and we go to your father? Could you? If I was to get, uh, if you were to come to the big house, or you could just do it there, couldn't you? It doesn't need to be in your hut. No, 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 certainly not. So if I bring you to his father, and we explain the situation, and he agrees to let you cast greater restoration on him, that will be fine, right? Yes, I, I, I see no problem with that on the ethical level. Okay, well, okay. come on, Hibonite, let's go convince your father. Okay. Are yeah, we bringing Oric with us now? Might as well. Present. I don't see why he has to stay. If your mother is the one who has charmed your father, 
Then she'll know we're coming because she'll probably realise someone's broken out of the charm spell and we are walking into a dangerous situation. But by the sounds of it, they need us, so they're not going to kill us. Does he leave the castle? No, oh, they came and met us before. But we can do it in the castle. Um, maybe we can show him something in your room. Well, what I was thinking as a possibility is if we go in and he... You guys say you're telling stories. Seems to like that idea last night from Garen. And I will distract my mother so she's not there to interfere at all. Mm. Sounds good. Sounds terrible that we're having to plan all this stuff out, to be honest. <laughs> I can only uh, imagine. Did we Did we loot the bodies? No. <laughs> not. I intentionally did not. All right. I'm going to, <laughs> up to you. do an investigation, try to find anything Really? Okay. See if they have like symbols and whatnot, and I got a crit for twenty-five. Um, so with a the the crit, um, you find that really they don't have much on them besides their spear, and they all have those rather cheap robes on them, and they all do have one symbol that seems to be made out of dried seaweed, obviously of some kind of religious arcane nature. Do I see the symbol as well? I'll show everyone. Like, does this does mean it, anything? Does it look like anything from the books? Only, uh, I mean, it's kind of runic like that, but it's not anything directly from the books, no. This doesn't look like anything from the books. Doesn't mean it's not connected, though, actually. Indeed. Does, what do we do with the bodies? Is this not a crime or seeming, be, seeming to be? Um, well, I'm pretty sure people are used to, you know, deal with stuff like this, but no one's really bothering. Hmm. I'm sure we can find something to talk to about getting the corpses cremated or something. Do I, with my uh, druidic knowledge or sylvan knowledge, have any idea what the seaweed situation is? What do you mean, seaweed situation? The whatever, because it's a rune in seaweed, right? You said? Right, yep. Do I? It's nothing that you're familiar with, no. Okay. Well, um, do, if you want to clean it up, there's a big body of water right there. <laughs> oh, no, I don't care. I just, you know, don't want to make more trouble for ourselves. Eh. Yeah, um... I mean, it was the prince who helped kill these things, so... Well, we'll talk to some guards or something at some point. I'm sure someone will deal with the situation. <laughs> That's what I like to think about we, everything. We do have <laughs> slightly bigger things to try and deal with. Okay. All right, so you guys are heading back to the big house? Yep. Yeah. All right, head back to the big house with Oric and Toe. Um, inside, people are gathering for a, a breakfast celebration of sorts. Your mother... Amalite is holding court. Your father's there, off in the uh, the corner. He's not sitting up at the main table. He's just kind of off to the side in a chair, clearly grumbling to himself and drinking. I'll I'll go over and to what is his name? Obsidian. Yeah, Obsidian. I'll go over yeah. to Obsidian. He's like my friend. Oh uh, yes, my friend, uh, Garen. So yes, good to yes. See you. you as well. Um, yes, you, you of, of all the elves I've ever met, are probably my favorite. Oh, tell well, the thank other you elf. very much. Oh. <laughs> No, I will not tell Zilara. Um, I, I was wondering, you, you enjoyed my show last night, yes? Very much so, yes, yes. I, I had some new material I'm working on, and but I'm afraid to show it to people right now. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking maybe for this banquet, I could do it. Uh, would you be willing to um, uh, give your thoughts on it in a private showing? Oh, uh, you're testing it out on me? Yes. Oh, I yeah. I, you... would be on a, I would love to be on the vanguard of uh, new artistic movements. <laughs> yes, thank you. I, I, I'm glad my my stuff is called art. It's <laughs> beautiful. Yes, thank you. Um, are you are you free right now? Yeah, I'm sitting here drinking. Awesome. I brought my tankard. Oh, yes, yes. That's and all you have to say. Today, it is wine. And I tap it and wine fills up. So. Oh, wine. Yes. And I'll I'll hand it to him as we start walking to Hibonite's room. Oh, this is this is quite good wine. It's, it's no fire wine, but it's quite good. No, but it does fill itself. Well, that's, that's really all that matters. Indeed. And the queen's not trying to stop him leaving or anything? No. No, she's not. She doesn't seem to really care. All right, so we head up. <laughs> Go up with you. Yep. All right, Obsidian <laughs> goes into the room. So are you guys all waiting there in the room? Sure. <laughs> I would have been in the main hall with them to make sure nothing yep. went awry. Obsidian, this is an intervention. We all <laughs> care about you. <laughs> he walks in and says, Oh, so is uh, everyone here for the show? Or You can say that. Before the show, Dad, we just want to make sure you're nice and clear-headed for it. So Oryx going to cast a spell on you if you're, if you're happy with that. 
Uh, I'll, I'll, a spell? Just something to clear your mind so you remember the, sh- the stunning performance even better. Um, I am going to burn my channel divinity for Emissary of Peace. So I get a plus five on uh, my rolls for um, Emissary of Peace. Haven't used it in a little while. Um, on persuasion checks. I get plus five on persuasion checks for the next ten minutes. Okay. Um, and then Vargrain is going to walk up to Obsidian. He's gonna go, it, it, it's, it's okay, Hip Knight. Um, Obsidian, your, your son is rather concerned about you at the moment, your current mental state. We think that your good friend here, Auric, will be able to help you. And I think it's in your best interest if you agree to let Auric cast Greater Restoration on you. Would you please do that for your son? All right, give me a uh, persuasion roll. Uh, 29. <laughs> Holy crap. I rolled an 18, guys. Oh, uh, 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 so, <laughs> it's like a, a comedy magic act thing. Uh, 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 you're crazy, and, and then we'll do this magic for you, and then you see it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Uh, Oric, you heard the man? All right. Oric cast a spell on Obsidian. I don't, all right, what happened? I, I'm not drunk now, but what else? So, you won't feel much different. The things you've been seeing in the past are now different. You remember Topaz to you didn't look ill, correct? Uh, no, she she looked like she had a little cold and Ruby no, was... No, her, eye, her eyes were glazing over, she was turning slimy and she was growing extra teeth. That's why I made a big deal of it last night. Obsidian gives you a very concerned look. Says, oh, I'm, son, are, I'm, I'm are you doing all right? What, what are you talking minor, about? I cast minor illusion of what I saw last night. This is how she looked. Hellboy, that's... I saw nothing like that. Is, is this what you all saw, too? Indeed. Uh, I, I wasn't there. see her. No. All right, well. I've seen things like her, though, on the beach. Mm-hmm. Really? Yes. I, they were roasting a man alive. I'm not entirely sure what's happened since I got back, Dad. But from what I've seen, you don't care about your position. Ruby's running everything. Mum's started some form of cult and is now disowning the primordial fire in the name of a dragon she's calling Kazdrax that's guiding her to something which I know it isn't Kazdrax because I've actually met him and I'll flex my heart sort of thing but long story short he ate my heart and now my heart's made of fire but we'll glaze over that for now <laughs> what? <laughs> there's there's a lot wrong going on there's an ancient evil that pretty much wants to take over and kill everyone, um, take over the world that's trying to get its hooks in us I don't want that to happen pretty sure you don't so yeah, it's long story short, things are quite fucky. Yes, it, it definitely, things are not right. I, hmm. But right now, mum is down there doing the courting. Should be the reigning heads roll, your job. Mum's right. always been an oracle, and seen the future and meditated, and a big part of the primordial flame, but she's never done the courting. That's very true, I, I don't know. I'm, honestly, I feel a little bit like I'm coming out of a fog or a dream. So, oh, what, what do you suggest? What do you all suggest? Um, not entirely sure. Open confrontation is the best idea. When I hugged no. mom earlier, it felt like she could take on a bear and win. Well, it's always been kind of her thing. Yeah, well, I. This was different. Uh, this wasn't like before. This was, mom felt weird. I don't have much of a <laughs> beyond this point, but I th- we, I don't know what to do. In all honesty. All right. But your mom wanted you to go and and see the Kazdrax location or whatever, right? Yeah, she wants me to go and help. She says that we need we we're a key part in releasing Kazdrax. And while I think that's true, I don't think what she's being guided to is Kazdrax. I think it's more like um what we saw in the uh, what was it Kringle Falls? Mm. I think it's one of those situations. We've kind of released enough greater evils. <laughs> well. Maybe she can be reasoned with? It is possible. I don't want to hurt my mom. Yeah, you know, you can talk to her. We don't We don't even know. I tried like, talking to her a little bit, but I didn't know what to say. Yeah. Um. At the minute, I'm more fearful of my family. I know, but that doesn't mean that we have to necessarily do something about her. You know, your father is now kind of more in his senses, and that gives us time to figure out what's actually going on here. Right, because you say she's under some sort of influence, so maybe we can suss out what that is. 
But whatever had the mind of Obsidian did not have Ruby's mind. No, that's true. So was it due to your mother? Or is this something different? Hmm. Maybe this big house well, is the problem? I will, say the that, house as well. I, I will say that I trying to make uh, you know, something of amends with your mother, Mibonite. Uh, obviously, we've always had something of a tense relationship. I, she did uh, tell me a little bit about this Kazdrax and her religion and Ruby, Ruby never caught into that. She, she had no, no desire to listen. No, I, I don't want to blame your mother and, and say that she did this to me. But oh, I, I think mother did do it. I think something's influencing her. If it's convinced her, if it's controlling her, whatever it's doing is bad for our people. Yes. Was there ever an object or something that you worshipped, even fake worship, because of her? Did you go to a an altar or hold a talisman or something like that? Oh um, no, not that I recall. She she was she, she showed me one of the rituals. That could be it. That's all I recall. Did did she do the ritual here, or did you go with her to to the hall? You know, it's funny, it's coming to me in pieces, but yes, I, I believe we were in a, a cave of some kind. I think this is the place to start, Hibonai. I don't think we leave this island until things are sorted. So I would say yes, uh, Televor. I don't think that your mother poses a, a threat to this island. If anything, she wants uh, more people to follow her, right? I think there's more power, and she's getting her orders when she's in Tudorville. Cutting her off from that seems like the smartest play at the minute. Uh huh. But we need to figure out what that thing is. Mm -hmm. We can't just hold her here forever. Oh, I, I get that. Maybe we can try and convince her, snap her out. Or uh, how many more great restorations do you have in you? None today. And yeah. I'm plumb out of convincing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just need to try and I'm plumb maybe out of gather information yeah, sure. today. <laughs> this has not been a slow, uh, a fast process. So I don't think waiting a few more days would hurt. Hopefully not. But we should okay. do some investigating while we wait. Not just. I think you need to take your position back, Dad. Yes. Uh, I, yes. I think you're right. I but put too much on poor Ruby's shoulders. Uh, yes. Yeah. But. You, you, what should we do about your mother now? I mean, if she did do this to me, if I go down there and say I'm in charge and we go back to our own fighting, wouldn't she know that uh, something's I, changed? I, I, I think this is this is right, right? Like, I, I think we should pretend that nothing is out of the ordinary and continue on until we figure out what's going on, until we can do something. We don't want to cause any, like, we don't want to make any waves until we know what's going on. Because if she's as powerful as you're saying she is, if she feels she's losing that, then she might retaliate, right? Yeah, uh, I, I I get what you mean. And, and, you know, to Ruby's credit, she's been doing a pretty good job. I'm... Ruby and Topaz aren't staying in the big house. <laughs> and none of us are. <laughs> okay. If you're okay with it, Dad, we could you could act like the mess that you have been recently again. <laughs> and we try and coast it along until she goes back to the island. And then we, we take her home. And when she returns, we confront her from a position of power. Yes, that definitely sounds like a plan. Oh, I don't think I'll actually imbibe as much as I have been. Yes. This is probably smart. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, when When is... Do we know when your mother's returning to Tulavor? When, when when does she generally come and go? Does she go back and forth, or...? She does go back and forth, but it's typically on no set schedule. Okay. Whenever she has a vision, she comes back and proclaims the vision. So, here's here's a plan I can, I can suggest. Maybe we, you know, continue this ruse and do some investigating in the meantime. And when your mother decides to go back, we follow her. That way she's not here and a threat to your family and to the people of the island. We're able to figure out what's actually going on, right? I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, we, could, we could follow. Yeah, because we've, but... we've reinstated now. Your father is in a good position. We've got Ruby to help out here and your sister is better. And we can figure out how to then help your mother because obviously the thing that's controlling her is where she's going. Did she not want to take you, Hibonite? She wants to, to take all of us. She wants, she wants all of us to go with her. Just not today. Maybe tomorrow? Uh, or the next day. Or the next day. Well, in the days we have while we're here, we can try and 
find where the center of the the group of people we saw on the beach were. Yep. Mm-hmm. Throughout the rest of that, so we we were off with my mother. Ruby and the guards can be ripping out that root and stem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we figure out where your mother's influence lies, and we figure out how to help her. Yep. And luckily, she'll be far away from here, and the stuff that you care about, and not a threat, right? Yep. This is the margarine I like. The margarine I'm in. I've never met this margarine. <laughs> Okay. But I like, I like him better. Dad, okay. when we yes. go to the island, if I can't convince Mum to not be a threat, I won't let her threaten everything out. I won't let her threaten Topaz or Ruby. And regardless of if I come back or not, I think Ruby deserves to see the world as well. It doesn't seem right that she's the only one of us who doesn't get to see the rest of the world. Yes, well, mm, yes. I think we need to stop hiding on our island. We need to start being part of the world, not just seeing it and then hiding away. I agree. And if I'm I'm perfectly honest, when I went on my pilgrimage, I did not see much of the world myself. No. I, I, can, I can already what? tell that. We we met the green, uh, our, one of our sister tribes. Actually, two of our sister tribes. Um, and they one of them was just evil. There was a great war or something, and they never heard of you. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about this when we settled thing, but yeah. It was Boy, a I did that meet you were. our... Uh... Our seaborn sister tribe. I haven't met them yet. We'll have to talk about those guys. The green There's... ones are bad. The air guys. That's... The... We met, that's not we met the us. ones we killed, right? No, that's the, that's, no. The earth, that's the earth one. No, I mean the uh, the ones on the beach. Fish people. Just to make sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Pretty no. sure not. Okay, well, good. Well, we tech... did meet a lovely lady from the air tribe. She really? loved me to pieces. Unfortunately, she died in fighting a creature. Yes, I, I met a uh, lovely lady of the Seaborn, and that's, if I could be honest, that's really the reason I did not travel much after that. I enjoyed my time with her. All right, I don't want to know anything. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say this seems like a family conversation. Um... <laughs> well, that's going to be weird if I go there, and I, I don't even want to know her name, because if I go there and she's still alive, I'm, I'm going to see so many weird things. <laughs> Oh <laughs> God! Why you never shut up? Oh God! <laughs> I'm gonna forget that, and that's for the best. Not when you see her purplish skin. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've got a general plan. I'm still gonna keep my sisters away from here until I go back with mother. I don't know that that's completely wise. I do not think so either. I thought no. we were trying to break her. I don't enchantment. think. I don't think Ruby will come back in here after seeing what happened to Tobaz and it was fixed. But going off with your mother is not the wise course. I thought that's what we agreed to do: was to go over, try and convince her I... away from here. Yeah, but not to go with her. Well, Why we not? We can try and tail her in a boat and then really easily be spotted in the open water. Or we can just be on the same boat as her. And she thinks she's winning, but really she's not, because we're a Trojan hawk. I'm going to be honest, the here. fish with teeth make me very scared. I don't think I want to know what a shark is. It's like a, f- a fish with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think... No, I, thought the, we were, I thought we I think, were going to try to restore her, like we did Obsidian. We could try great restoration but Orc can't do it today. No, and as long as she does not want to go today. Well, we we just say we can't go today. I did say we need some resting up. Zalara is you're still feeling weak from you know dying. <laughs> it, yeah. You get you get you kind of used to it. Really? So sort of. This sucks. I don't <laughs> know if you like get kind of used thing. to it. I don't think one time makes a pattern, Hippanite. <laughs> well, I've been close to death a lot, extremely close to death a lot. Uh huh. That's Remember, true. I used to be really overly confident in running up to things. True. I got stabbed okay. a lot. <laughs> well, we have a plan. Yes. And I need a nap. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I will, I will make my way, way downstairs. Okay. Have a night, my son. Thank you. And he leans over, whispers in your new ear, Aqualita. <laughs> <laughs> you recall the episode there. <laughs> Thanks for listening to episode 68 of Beholder's Eye, Aqualita. Remember, if you want to support Beholder's Eye, our Patreon is patreon.com forward slash Beholder's Eye pod. You'll find some cool stuff there, get early released episodes, and achieve your highest self. 
If you can't support us financially but want to help out the show, please leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Honestly, this is uh, more important than Patreon in a way. I mean, if you're a fan of anything out there, then reviews are some of the best ways to support the content producers you like outside of the cold, hard cashish. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at Beholders iPod and our website, BeholdersEyecast.com. Feel free to give us a shout out using the hashtag Chaos Quartet. You can follow Ryan, who plays Hibonite, at Duff Duff the Third, Ben, who plays Garen, at Miro 4D2, Kim, who plays Alara, at Mets Girl, and Sam, who plays Margrain, at Samsalot 007. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Editing performed by Sam Canary. Music and effects editing by Benjamin Floyd. Music from filmmusic.io. Angevine, Mesmerize, Healing, Earth Prelude, Air Prelude, Curse of the Scarab, and Our Journey Begins all by Kevin McLeod and Competech.com. License under Creative Commons by Attribution 4.0 License. CreativeCommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by forward slash 4.0 forward slash. Sound effects by Zapsblatt.com. This work is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share like 4.0 International Licenses. CreativeCommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by forward slash 4.0 forward slash.